with you on our shared reading, and we're going to get our shared reading voices ready, okay, by reading our poem and our chant. Are you ready? Can all eyes on this one? Ready, go. This is the way, this is the way we dig the hole, dig the hole, dig the hole, this is the way we dig the hole, early in the morning. Nice, you see how nice and smooth your voice sounds, right? Because we've been practicing rereading that over and over again. So t yesterday, when we were working together, we were doing some nice whiteboard, whiteboard work. And we were doing a lot of our sound spelling cards. We were looking at some I blank E's, right? And thinking, if I know how to spell one word like mine, I could spell fine, right? Dine, and I could do different, different kinds of pine, right? Different kinds of spelling patterns with that. So today, I thought that we can practice something else. And today we're going to do a lot of brain work, okay? And today we're going to think about some tricky words in our book. And what do we do to help us when we are reading our own books? What do you do when you get to a tricky word and you don't know how to read it? Okay, and I'm going to show you. I made a poster here. And this poster, Salvador, is going to help us. Because anytime you guys come to a tricky word, we're going to ask ourselves these three questions, okay? Does it look right? Like, does that word look right? Does it make sense? Like, that's a light bulb. Like, does that make sense of what's going on in the pictures? And does it sound right? Like, does that, does that word sound right? It sounds kind of funny. So we're going to be using our three cueing systems here to help us. So when we're reading this book, we can figure out how do we get to those tricky words, okay? So you ready? Okay, let's start. Flora's Blanket. The author is Debbie Gleary. Can everyone say the title with me? Go. Flora's Blanket. Okay, if you can help me read the words, you can chime in too. Guys, okay, ready? Go. Flora Marco, why do you think this word is tummy? Because you, you, you covered it because I am here that and as what it sounds tummy. It sounds like that. But if I cover the word here, do you think you can look at the picture? Look at Flora. Look at the picture. What is she holding? Her stomach. She's holding her stomach, right? So do you see how we're using like what's in the picture to help us with this word? So if the word is tummy, what letter does tummy start with? T. So you're going to see what letter first. What letter's first? T. Are you guys right? Yeah. So ta a U. You. you think a U? Let's see what's next. A U. So everyone say ta Guess what? Y. Two M. Yeah. And the Y makes the E, right? Tummy. Very good. Sore tummy. And what does Flora say? No. Said Flora. Good. Oh, Flora. Said her mom. Do your ears hurt? No. Said Flora. And you know, I heard right here, Stephanie, I heard her say mother. So mother, it does, it sounds right, right? Like it could be mother. Oh, Flora said her mother. So that does sound right, but does it look right? So look at that word. How do you know that's not mother? What, what gives us a clue it's not mother? Yeah, my little friend. And what's at the end here? An M. And what sound does M make? Mm. So when you're reading and you see here, right, mom, right, not mother, 
right? Good, looking through the whole word. Okay, ready guys? Help me out here. Well, what is the matter, Laura? Says her brother and sister. Ready? Why can't you sleep? No blanket, says Laura. Look at her, dunking her little hands. Can everyone dunk their little hands? Like her? Right? Like she's having a tantrum, huh? Okay, you ready? Let's see what Nora says. Have mine offered Nora or mine, said Cora. No, said Nora. Here, take ours, said Sam, Tom, and Max. No, 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 said Nora. What's mine? Whoa, I like how your voice is. You're sounding like Flora. Okay, you ready to do some brain work? Okay, here we go. Where is your blanket, Flora? Mm. How many of you guys think it says? Okay, if it says, what letter does it start with? Okay, Damon, you ready? Let's see if you guys are right now. Okay. I, okay. I, and we know said is our high frequency I, word, right? I, so said I, is going to have an I, A. An A. It's one of those tricky spells. Okay. A, I, Let's see if you see an A. I, 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 that doesn't look like an A. Because said is our sight word. We know it's sign. Let's see. If I uncover I, G, H. Who knows what that I-G-H makes? I. Look at your son's spelling card. Can you see your I-G-H? Yes. yes. What does I-G-H make? I-G-H makes the A. I, the long vowel I. So when I look here, right, I know it's not said, right? Because said, can you guys say said? Right, it ends even with a D. So sigh. Can everyone sigh? Go. <sighs> yeah, right? You're getting a little bit frustrated. Good. I like the way that, right, we're using our sound spelling cards here. And let's look at this word here. Ready? Help me. Don't know, mother Flora. Let's go find it. Growled. Growled? How do you think growled? Okay, if it's growled, what letter, what two blends are we going to have? Growl. G-R. Okay, so we're going to see. Does it look right? Okay, here we go. Let's look at to see if you see a G-R. Ready? I. What do you guys see? G-R. Oh, so it could be growled. Huh. Say growl. Growl. Say ow. Ow. What spell sound spelling card makes the owl, 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 owl? Marco, do you know? Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Or, right? Or, 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 Okay, so we're going to look here. Does it look right? Okay, because growl, that could make sense, right? So let's see. Oh, you. When two mouths go walking, the first one does the talking. Right. O A makes a O. Ro. 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 Can everyone say that word for me? Road. Say groaned. Groaned her death. Everyone groaned. Say oh. Oh, you guys are used to groaning, huh? We <laughs> know. Okay, let's do a couple more. Ready? So let's see. So they looked in the living room. No, no, no said Flora. Gosh, Flora is rough. Huh? And the kitchen. 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 Oh, you know it's kitchen. Because we see it. Wait, Salvador, what did you say? What did you see? Because we see the picture of the kitchen. So you see it here. It makes sense, right? That it could be kitchen, right? Let's see. Does it look right, okay? Let's see if it looks right. If it's kitchen, 
What yes. letter could it be? C. C. Or a K. 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 Right to see that this could be bathroom, and what gives you a clue is bathroom. Because, because there's a tub. There's a bathtub. Is there a bathtub in the kitchen? No. Right. And if it looks right, what letters are going to start with, Joshua? B. 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 Okay, let's see. Let's see if you're right. Yeah. It could be maybe. What if it's bedroom? Say bathroom. Give me the second sound. Ba. A. 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 Say ba. T. A. So we have to look at the whole word. Ba. When you come to a tricky word and you don't know what to do, you can think, does it look right? Right? Does it look right? Does it make sense with what's going on? Yes. And does it sound right? Like in the yes. sentence? So, can you tell your partner next to you? Tell them, what do you do when you come to a tricky word? Tell them, what do you do when you come to a tricky word? What do you do when you come to a tricky word? I I said this word. I said this word. I said this I said this word. 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 Look at the letters to see if that makes sense and if that sounds right. So good job. Can you pat yourself on the back? Say, I am so smart. I am so smart. Excellent work. And tomorrow I'll see you guys and we'll do something else with our book. Okay, guys? Okay, good job. Thank you.